let's go thrifting. Okay, so it is pouring down the rain, and I've never been to Habitat for Humanity, but it's packed. So hopefully I can find something good. The goal today is to at least find um, a chair so I can use it for reenacting and playing with the band. And if I find 40s outfits, that would be a big plus. So let's see what we can find. By the way, wearing my grandmother's old raincoat to manifest good thrift finds. Very unsuccessful, although I did find some other stuff that I would definitely dig, but I gotta stay focused and let's see if we can hit up another place today to maybe find a chair still or even any clothes. They didn't have any clothes here, so like any clothes. And I know like Goodwill is a popular place, but like, I don't know, maybe I'm like a hipster with when it comes to thrifting. Because I don't like to go to like mainstream places. The only reason I came to Habitat for Humanity was because other reenactors told me that they got their chairs there. Um, and they're pretty authentic um, in terms of like, you know, 18th century style. Um, and I can use that chair for other events too that we're doing, um, different eras and everything. Um, so I'm just trying to find one that transcends time. Is that too much to ask? Maybe? There were tons of shoes here. I really thought I was gonna find something, maybe even found something that looked quite like it because these had the exact heel and sort of the point that I was going for, but wasn't really vibing with them. So many coats and power suits, which means shoulder pads. Also a lot of blouses too, which I really thought I was gonna find something, but nothing ever really struck my fancy, if you get what I'm saying. All these chairs was not expecting that but a lot of them were modern and maybe a few that could do it but not exactly quite I was thinking about this one but it was spray-painted this was just a mood and this bag I am in love I really almost got it but I have this rule to like not buy anything until I buy what I came there for still no luck but Bargain Hunters did have way better options, and I found stuff that almost worked. Um, and if it did actually work, it wasn't my size. So, and I'm talking about like shoes, so it's a little bit more difficult to mend than like pants or a shirt, um, or else I would have gotten them. Um, but pretty much everything else just didn't work, and it like maybe could have passed, but that's not good enough for me. Um, but Bargain Hunters did have some really cute things. It is a chain outlet, mainly in the south. I looked it up. It looks like they're just mainly in the south, um, from, like, Indiana all the way down to, like, Mississippi and Arkansas. So if you have one in your town, definitely check them out, uh, because they have some pretty cool stuff. I didn't expect there to be furniture, honestly, so that was cool. I almost found some chairs that dealt with it, but then again, like, I am hardcore perfectionist and accuracy when it comes to this type of stuff. So, like, I could have done it, but then, like, I wouldn't have felt right you know um so the search continues and i will probably just end up buying etsy patterns online to make my own stuff and i have two weeks less than two weeks to do it yay Trust. i just wanted to hop on here while i'm editing which this is being taken on my laptop so ignore the camera quality but i wanted to give an update since then because it's been about four five months who knows what time is right now since the highland games and i actually ended up not using any etsy patterns to make my own clothes although i do want to in the future hopefully and i ended up just using most of my grandma's clothes that i could fit into by some miracle and if you follow me on instagram um you see that in real time and i also still have yet to find a chair which that is so shocking but i still haven't found a chair that's period accurate 